text messages help catch a teaching assistant sneaking off to have sex with a student during school. Good evening, everyone. Brandon Lampley was once a high school basketball star. And today, the former Northwest High School employee admitted having sex with a teenage girl and immediately went to jail. Local 12's Joe Webb was in the courtroom and joins us live with the new information on their relationship. Joe. Well, Rob, Brandon Lampley pled guilty today to one count of sex, sexual battery for having sexual contact with a 16-year-old girl who was a junior at Northwest High School where he worked at the time. The new details also came out in court today about how long the relationship went on and how many times the two had sex at the school. On February 12th, a 16-year-old junior at Northwest High School was supposed to report to in-school suspension but didn't show up. According to court testimony today, she was at school, but in a locked office having oral sex with teaching assistant Brandon Lampley. Police say Lampley and the girl traded texts and arranged a rendezvous in a locked trainer's office with two ways in and out. They set up a time, meet you in the morning. You could see some of that on the text messages. And they met, and he would go in. He had the key to the area. They would go meet there. He would go in, unlock his door, go through, unlock another door. She'd come in through the other area, and they'd meet in there. Police records indicate Lampley and the girl met there a week before for sexual intercourse. Surveillance video confirms both encounters. When the girl got suspicious that school officials were onto them, she texted Lampley, who told her to delete any texts. Police got a hold of the phones and discovered an intense month-long relationship. All the messages were not able to be recovered, but there were over 700 messages back and forth between the two of them during a rather short time frame. Brandon Lampley resigned shortly after the allegations surfaced in February. Today, he pled guilty, so the case and victim did not have to go to trial. His attorney says Lampley is remorseful. He left the court in handcuffs, and Judge Ralph Winkler ordered him held without bond until he's sentenced. He has no prior criminal record and faces five years in prison. I anticipate that he will serve some jail time. As you saw here today, the, the court did not give him any bond and sent him away today, uh, which is an indication of the seriousness with which the court perceives the offense. We believe and hope that the judge will be sending him to prison. Now, Rob, no one from the Northwest Local School District was in court this morning. We contacted the school superintendent. We were told that they would have no comment today. Lampley's wife, family, and friends were also in court this morning. They declined comment. So did an attorney representing the girl's family. Reporting live outside the Hamilton County Courthouse, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Rob? Joe, thanks very much. Brandon Lampley will be sentenced May 30th.